That was freaking sick. Let's go! This place is insane. I'm checking off a bucket list once it's dating by the time. Hey guys, welcome back to Garrett Stadium Travel. This is Stadium Vlog number 13. It's my final day here in Minneapolis and tonight I'm making the trip across the Mississippi River over to St. Paul to watch the Minnesota Wild take on the Winnipeg Jets at the XL Energy Center. The Jets are fighting for the final playoff spot in the West while the Wild have already clinched and are looking to heat up before the first round of the playoffs. Hopefully I'm in for a treat of a game. Before the game though, I'm going to check out the Mall of America down in Bloomington. It is the biggest mall in the United States and I'm super excited to check it out. So without further ado, let's get this day started. Hey guys, just got back from the Mall of America. I like this sweater, but we gotta put something on just a little more appropriate. There we go. We got the 2021 NHL All-Star Game jersey with the NHL crest right there. There is nobody on the back. I'm not planning to get anybody on the back. This is more of a neutral jersey for when I'm not seeing any of my favorite teams play. A fan of the sport, I like the way the Adidas jerseys feel. So that's where, what we're rocking with today. Uh, we got about, I think it's about four hours till game time, heading over in a couple of hours and uh, hopefully enjoy a great game. Let's go. I'm up here in the upper level of the XL Energy Center and it's time for the Stadium Fact of the Day. The Stadium Fact of the Day today is all about the lighthouse. As you can see behind me up in the upper corner of the arena is a lighthouse. It is modeled after the many lighthouses that line the shores of Lake Superior and it houses the Wilds Bullhorn and makes an appearance whenever the Wilds score or win. It lights up, dispenses fog and contributes to an already great atmosphere here in St. Paul. Gonna explore a bit more and then hopefully enjoy an incredible game. Let's go. We 
the state of power.
We are pleased to announce the recipient of the 2022-2023 Tom Kerber's Humanitarian Award. As voted by his teammates is wild defenseman Matt Dumba. It's a final here from the XL Energy Center. The Winnipeg Jets ended up winning this one three to one. A really good, really contested game. This crowd was absolutely incredible. Both teams gearing up for the playoffs. The Jets officially clinched tonight, so good for them. Uh, that's it for me from St. Paul. I'm gonna catch the LRT home and then tell you guys what I saw. Hey guys, just got back to the hotel. So the Winnipeg Jets took this game three to one. All the bounces went against the Wild tonight. I really thought they were gonna tie that game up there, but guess not. Lots of fights at the end, which was super entertaining. So let's get into what I saw from the XL Energy Center. First off, atmosphere. The atmosphere was so, so good. It was in my opinion so far, one of the best atmospheres I've seen in the league. The crowd was engaged the whole game, knowledgeable. They had unique intermission activities and plenty of prizes for fans, but obviously being that it was fan appreciation night, I understand that. And the Wild proved why they are called the state of hockey. It was so, so cool. I was really glad to be a part of it. The crowd was great despite the negative outcome for the team. Next up is Venue. I think the XL Energy Center is one of the more underrated NHL arenas in the league. It's not one that you really hear about all that often, but I think it's really cool. One thing that I think the XL Energy Center does better than any arena is theming. It was done so well. It has a log cabin feel from their team store to the concessions. Everything was log cabin themed. You felt like you were in a log cabin, in the wild, all that kind of stuff, which is so great. Yeah, so the team store, I really like the team store, the Hockey Lodge, again, themed like a log cabin, super cool. Shout out to the employees in there. They were all super, super nice. Uh, I really like the wide open glass feel of the main entrance. You can see, you know, the main entrance, is, it's this big glass pane. It was, it was really cool, kind of the open concept rather than, you know, the closed in arena, right? And wide concourses, they did get congested at times, but especially in the upper level, uh, being able to walk pretty freely in between periods, it got busy, but before the game, no problems. Another thing that's really cool is the abundance of standing room. At the top of every section, the 100 and the 200 level, they have like a row around the entire arena and it's all standing room. You know, you have your um, little tabletop where you can put, you know, food and stuff. And it's a really cool and unique way to watch the game. And I believe they're some of the cheapest tickets in the arena, which is great. Next up is access. First and foremost, the River Center is a parking garage with a skyway that is connected to the arena, which is great because in those bitter, cold Minnesota winters, you can walk directly from your parking to the arena without freezing your butt off. So that is good. Uh, the second one thing I wanted to mention is that the arena is in St. Paul, which is a smaller city compared to Minneapolis. So the roadways in and out, I don't know exactly the area, but I'd have to assume that it can get a bit more congested, especially getting out of the game. So keep that in mind. Uh, plan to maybe be there a bit longer than you would maybe a Twins game, Vikings game, or Timberwolves game if you are going. Uh, in terms of transit, which is what I took, the green line goes from Minneapolis, the first station's Target Field, to downtown St. Paul. The station that you get off at is about a seven minute walk from the arena, which isn't too bad. 
yeah, so the last thing I'd mention is just plan your trip accordingly. As always, if you are staying in Minneapolis, if there is congestion, you're not gonna be late, you're not gonna miss warm up, whatever you wanna be there for. Finally, we have pricing. So the ticket prices for a wild game are above average compared to the NHL average, usually about $100 plus for lower bowl tickets, and usually around 60, 70, $80 for upper bowl seats. It depends on the game, it depends on the opponent as always. And one thing I would like to mention is the wild aren't a team where ticket prices are going to vary based on the team's success. Obviously, with a great fan base like the Minnesota Wild have, they're always going to draw. Those ticket prices aren't going to fluctuate too much like a team, let's say, like Florida maybe, where when they're really good, their tickets might be more expensive, and when they're really bad, they're going to be super, super cheap. So, something to note. Uh, parking, pretty standardly priced, around 30 bucks, close to the... Stadium, you know, gets cheaper as you go further. And as I mentioned before, the River Center attached to the arena, so, you know, colder months. The food was decently priced too for a hockey game. It was, you know, middle of the pack. I didn't see anything super cheap, didn't see anything super expensive, so just kind of right in the middle of there. Uh, they did have a unique selection though. They had a walking taco, which is like a, a, a chip bag with taco stuff in it. I've seen it on like TikTok and stuff, but it's cool to see that in an arena. They also had, you know, your standard stuff, your, your pizza, your chicken fingers, all that kind of stuff. Um, and they also had some sit down bars, uh, again, themed accordingly. I think it was, um, I forget the name, but it was named after a beer. Uh, so yeah, prices were a bit above average uh, for prices and decent for everything else. And so with that, my final ranking for the XL Energy Center, I'm giving it a 10 for atmosphere, an eight for venue, a six for access, and a six for pricing, bringing it to a total of 30 out of 40. I thought this was a super, super solid stadium. Um, definitely, if you're an NHL fan, I think you gotta check this place out, especially if you're from the States, it's, it's super cool. So yeah, this has been stadium vlog number 13. I thought it was going to be unlucky 13, obviously the Wild didn't pull out the win, but uh, I thought it was still a pretty pretty cool video to make. Um, super cool little uh, getaway here in Minneapolis. I wanted to give a shout out to the hotel I'm staying at, the Cambria downtown Minneapolis. It's a great hotel, the, all the staff have been super nice. It's a super central location here, you know, it's walking distance from the Target Center just down that way and Target Field's right beside it, so obviously it's super accessible to the stadiums for sports travelers like maybe you watching, super close to transit if you're trying to get to the Mall of America or St. Paul to watch the wild like I did today. So yeah, if you're coming to Minneapolis for a sports trip, consider Cambria, it's a super cool super cool place and that was not even paid that was just me i enjoyed my experience here it was super awesome i mean this room is pretty cool um <laughs> but uh yeah this has been stadium vlog number 13 i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to drop a like comment share share your thoughts all that kind of stuff lets me know that i'm doing a good job and uh yeah i was trying out a new kind of format uh, this time around here in Minneapolis, and I hope you guys liked it. Uh, follow along with the journey. We are uh, at 13 stadium vlogs. We got some super cool stuff coming this summer, so stay tuned. As always, I'm checking off a bucket list one stadium at a time. I will see you in the next video. Peace.